Well, good morning, my Leos. Welcome to your bonus read. You guys are my second highest viewed or second highest viewed of the week. So yeah, we're doing your bonus read. This is the long extension one. It's probably about a 45 minute read. Grab your coffee, grab your tea. Let's take a drink. Let's take a deep breath. Oh, let's do this, Leo. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm pulling Oracle cards again and let's see what comes out for you guys but yeah this is for leo sun moon rising venus if you are a leo no a leo feel like being a leo leos i am so glad you guys are here so glad you guys are here let's see i like it when it picks a card this is why i do it off screen feel free to fast forward i wish i could fast forward myself leo i do let's see so you guys can see, this is why I do it off screen, so I don't waste your time. Want it. There we go. There it is. Okay. What is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> I saw this twice when it was going through. Change in the wind. Wheel of Fortune. It's a change in the wind. And yeah, depending on where you were on that wheel, let's see what kind of change we have going. But I'm going to say, Leo, look at milk and honey. Maybe you're going to the land of milk and honey because you were in some darkness and now you have a rainbow and you can't get a little rainbows without a little rain. Okay. So, and peaceful times and here and now. Yeah. I, it's, it, that's great. That's really great. Okay. The reason why this makes sense, this change in the wind is we have an ace of swords in the bottom of the main deck. And if I know people ask, but the, it's really important. This is tarot of the abyss. It could be found on Amazon. It's a black and white it's a, it's a black and white deck and I feel like it's past energy. So it's kind of like you may have been pulled into an abyss and now with Ace of Swords, it's clarity of what was going on and now you're growing from it. You're soon you're gonna be growing leaves, Queen of Swords, you see something clearly, healthy boundaries coming out, cutting shit out. What are you, what are you cutting out? Look at the Five of Swords reverse, Aquarius energy. Somebody who is probably pulling wings off your body and enjoying it. I mean, doesn't that look like an evil bastard? It really does. Five of Swords Reverse is realizing somebody's been inflicting pain for their own benefit, okay? What that benefit is, I don't know. But we do have a Six of Cups on the bottom of the main deck, or clarifying deck, which is good. It's probably maybe you being connected to yourself. You could be a new love already. I just did Pisces, and it was very that. There was some old love, there was some new love, and you were all over that reading, Leo. I'm not even kidding. All right, general energy for my Leos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. General energy for my Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do the Leos need to know? Collective messages. This is probably, I think it's 11 card spread, sometimes more, depends if more cards come out for each placement. So get your blankies, get your coffee, and let's settle in here. What is this? It is the Eight of Wands reverse, probably blocking, probably blocking that Five of Swords reverse, you know? Birds of a feather flock together. That's what I, see, look at the birds of the feather, how they go to V for victory. V for victory is the Six of Wands, which is your card. This person was never going your direction. This person was never flying alongside you. This person was never walking beside you. It was just, I, I, I'll be there. I'll catch up. I'll catch up, Leo. Okay, what is influencing the Eight of Wands reverse? That's blocking an energy. What's influencing the Eight of Wands reverse? What's influencing the Eight of Wands reverse? And the Seven of Cups. Had your head in the clouds over, over a certain situation or a person. And they had you like that. They had you confused. They had you all over the place. They had you not knowing yourself anymore, trusting yourself and not knowing if they're going to show up or if they're lying to you or if they really, because I feel like you might pull yourself away and then here they come, love bombing you to pull you back to be one of their seven of cups, which is options. It doesn't mean they have seven different people, but they keep people, I feel like they keep people like trophies. They keep people like objects that they can come around to. And it could be within love. It could be within friends. They don't really have honest and real meaningful relationships. It's very shallow. And I think that's why is why they keep people at a distance. Because if you actually got your head out of the clouds and looked down, you would see those cups were always empty. Either way, you're blocking it. Change in the wind. Like I said, you're going from a black and white into... Malt Technicolor. I like that. 
and there's that Ace of Swords again and a Six of Wands reverse. What has held you back? Clarity. You're better knowing, Leo, and getting out of it than staying in it and being miserable. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is it for Leo? What's the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading for my Leos? What's the reason for the reading? It is, yeah, the world reverse. Now, this could be the person you left behind, but it, I feel like you were afraid. You were like a two of swords dealing with this for a long time, afraid to take that blindfold off. Your intuition is saying, Leo, take that blindfold off, or Leo, turn on the light. It's like you didn't want to look that deep because I think you knew. Look at the infinity, love the infinity. But it was a world reverse, feeling stuck in a situation realizing somebody was gaslighting you, somebody was manipulating you, somebody was breadcrumbing you, but I like eight of wands reverse. Center of it, you're saying you had no intention to ever fly away with me, go away with me, move away with me, travel with me. So I have no intention to ever be with you. Pass, what's the pass for my Leos? What is the pass for my Leos? And the Eight of Cups. I love this Pisces energy. This is the Denzel of the tarot deck, the female Denzel. Let's just say that. You, what I say about that is I love Equalizer. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've seen it probably the most that anybody can see the Equalizer. But you know, in those movies where they light a building or a car on fire or a factory, in Denzel's case with the Russians, and they blow it up and then walk away casually. That's what you just did. You literally are blowing this shit up. You're dumping out the cup and I feel like you throw it over your shoulder and kind of smile and walk away. I love it. That's a lot of self-confidence. Normally the Eight of Cups is walking away from something you care about, but you don't care about it because you're dumping that cup out and you're getting rid of it. You're onto new cups. You don't want to take this back, you're blocking it. Because I think it pisses you off when you, with that Ace of Swords, knowing what this person did and kept you from somebody who's worthy of you. What is on your mind, Leo? And some of you, I'm getting, some of you could have been in a marriage that wasn't exactly happy, but this person comes along and entices you to possibly leave it. And you're just like, I almost left that for this player. And maybe now you want to, oh, my nose is really itching because that could really be somebody's story. And, and it's like just in the nick of time, you pull yourself back in and just say, no, I'd rather water my own grass and make it greener than go to the weeds that are on the other side of the fence. Thank God I'm better knowing. What is on your mind, Leo? What is on your mind? It is the queen of wands. I feel like that's you, Aries energy. Air <laughs> Maybe some of you did some actually cleansing. Be, I, I was saying that in the readings last week for the end of the year, but you can always do it is the, the people, the things that people did wrong to you, it's good to put it on paper and then burn it. To, so if you physically can see it go up in smoke and go up in flames, it's like you get yourself back. Um, there, It's like you're collecting the pieces of your soul that these people fractured. And if you don't pull yourself and I'll get all your pieces back, it's going to be very hard to put all those, all your focus into what you really deserve and who deserves you. So it's a time to get your, yourself back. It's time to get your desire back. It's time to get you back because the Queen of Wands is a confident, charismatic energy. She is wise, but she's mostly, she's confident. And that's what makes it so attractive is she just, she only, it's not that she doesn't take advice from other people. But her, her own wisdom and her own voice matters more to herself than other people. See, if it was a Queen of Wands reverse, maybe when this person got into your life, you could have been a Queen of Wands reverse and you were listening to other people and or listening to this person without listening to your own intuition. It had you doubting yourself. But you taking that power and, and getting rid of the cup and getting into self-powered, you're just like, you know what? I am, I was always too good for this. Queen of Wands. I was always too good for this. And I think you're burning, you're not turning the tables on this relationship. You're literally burning it down because you don't want it back. Okay. What is the near future for Leo? You're going into the land of milk and honey. I like that. And six of cups. What is in the near future? What is in the near future for my Leos? What is in the near future? It is the King of Wands reverse. It's that damn bastard right next to you blocking 
you blocking them and then they have the gall to come back and say well well where's my cup at leo you got rid of it it's like it was my own damn cup to begin with you know king of wands reverse near future ten of wands trying to get you to carry their load their burden trying to pull you back into their abyss right and ten of swords reverse below that i feel like they they like people being hung up on them and this is a person if you were laying there they wouldn't come by to even help pull a sword out the swords they put in they're just checking on you to make sure you're still there and you're still hung up on them and i feel like leo when they weren't looking you pulled those swords out and you flew away see the birds are freedom and it's freedom over your emotions how it's flying over the emotions emotions are cups it's getting clarity with your head so you can heal your heart what i'm kind of getting with that okay what how do leo see themselves how do the Leo see themselves? How do my Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? It is the two of pentacles reverse. Done with the juggler. Drop the juggler dropped his balls. <laughs> Maybe kicked him in the balls, just sign. Okay, that's you're like Stacy, it's not tarot after dark. It's in the morning and it's Sunday at that you need Jesus. Okay, what is an influencing energy? And you would not be wrong. Okay, what is an influencing energy, Leo? What's the influencing energy? What is the influencing energy? It is the sun reverse. Yeah, see, it's whenever you watch, oops, see, did you see that heart go get kicked to the side? I think this person would kick, kick has kicked your heart to the side, but now it's on the land of milk and honey. Okay, where was I going? <sighs> Take a deep breath. Why, why am I so like hyper all of a sudden? all right leo so it's important whenever you watch my spreads if you or you watch other tarot readers always pay attention to the spreads each tarot card has a minimum of 10 meanings usually more if you if you get out of the youtube tarot and actually get books on tarot you will realize the richness of each card that's why it's really hard to look at a knight of wands or king of wands reverse and say player it's so much more than that a queen of wands like this is charismatic and she's she's lives her life out loud but when she's like this is somebody who really deals with a lot of self-esteem issues okay doesn't and yeah it could be a player but a lot of players have self-esteem issues where i'm going with this is so now we have a lot of meanings on each card it's important to see the cards around it now we add more meanings and it, it becomes a clearer picture this isn't the only thing you're here is you torching this old situation and leaving it behind you blocking it now we got them at the tail end of the birds okay now you block them now we have a king of wands reverse coming back in and saying you know i lost my leo what the hell this feels like a victim this king of wands reverse i think you were dealing with somebody who had king of wands reverse first and foremost has self-esteem issues so they play with other people because they have to get their ego fed because they don't know they don't have um and they feel like he's got poor coping mechanisms at that that's neither here nor there maybe for somebody you might care you know on, on knowing that but the king of wands reverse is somebody who can't who, who just can't heal themselves they 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 use love and i want to say pieces of it they don't i just feel like they feel like they're unworthy they feel like they're unworthy which is why they don't know how to have a meaningful relationship that's why they kind of make themselves thin across all these cups and so seven of cups is i think if you got close enough if you would just look down you would see i really think this person's cups were empty i think they're empty i think they're shallow and i think that now they're in the victim mode and saying well i think they're kind of pissed honestly with the sun reverse that you had the gall to make to block them you block them and you walked away See, Leo, you're going like this off into the future. This person's now going from going into the past and staying there. And the reason why I say they're staying there is they're, you are going from infancy in this relationship to knowing. And they, this was reversed, is going from they thought they knew everything and now they're stuck where it began. Two of Pentacles reverse. I feel like they dropped. This is an unbalance. This is there. It's, it's clearly an unbalance. But it's also a juggling situation where this person lost control 
of the situation because they thought they knew everything. They got that ego. They know what they're doing. They, they, they can play this. They got you. They got you. They, they, they want to know where you are with that 10 of swords. They want to know you're still laying on that beach, but you're not, you're not. And I feel a little anger that you had the gall to block them and pull it, pull out. That's what's interesting. It's not sadness. It's anger with the King of Wands reverse and the sun reverse that now you're making them have to feel like this in a certain way emotions queen of pentacles we have two queens for you now queen of wands queen of pentacles it could be somebody new it definitely could be somebody new but oh why did i turn her upside down she was upright when i pulled we have two queens next to each other it's you it's first and foremost it's you i feel like you're you're looking good these days because you have a healthy ego. You have a healthy self-confidence. You realize that nobody ever is going to put a, a price tag on something invaluable, which is yourself. This person tried to put a dollar store price tag on, an, on, a, on a priceless object, which is you. And you're never going to allow somebody to cheap you down again, right? Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles is saying, and now I know you're a King of, King of Wands, Leo, but in this reading, this is the Queens to me, are the driving force behind the kings okay the kings can sit back because they've 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 they're everything's running smoothly for x amount of years it's running smoothly because like the queen of wands i'm sorry leo but really did all the work and that could have been you in your building phase so if this is a, a corporation the queen of wands figures out how to start this corporation and how do we make money queen of pentacles and then in 20 years, the King of Wands sits back and plays golf or goes fishing or goes out with his buddies because he's got a lot of loyal people working and still making that money. Okay. That's just how I feel about this. So the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like is you are now in the hustler stage of your life. You're done with the hustlers and you now are the hustler, but you're hustling for you, not for your, this was like a pimp or something, you know, you're I, not literally, don't take me literally. I need a t-shirt that says, I cannot be held responsible for what I say in tarot readings, but no, not literally, but this person acted like a pimp and they had you overworking for them and they leave you with breadcrumbs while they took the loaf of bread. And you're just like, oh, the only person I'm hustling for is myself these days, see ya, right? Okay, what is the outcome here? What is the outcome for Leo? And it's a change in the wind, buddy or gal. Number 12, by the way. Break it down to three. Uh, okay, what is in the outcome for my Leos? What is in the outcome for Leo? What is in the outcome for Leo? There it is. <gasps> I love it. The fool. And guess what? It's Aquarius. And guess what? It's this month. New. It's a change in the wind. It's exactly that. It's a change in the wind. Ace of Pentacles reverse and awakening reverse. This is like the world. The awakening card is like the world and the death card all rolled into one. It's their own card in this deck. And yeah, it's you waking up to the situation, but it's also you waking up to your own life and to what you need and what who you need or who you need to be. It's you getting your needs met, but you're the one who's meeting your needs. Do you guys catch me? And I feel like this was a huge lesson in your life and that's why you got some wings. It's like you earned a karmic reward. Your karmic reward is whatever's on the other side of this full energy. And you're no longer, I feel like this Ace of Pentacles reverse is really a delay. It's all been there all, all along for you to take. But this person had your head in the clouds that you couldn't even see what was possible outside of them. It's a lot of gaslighting, literally. So now you're waking up to what you really deserve and who you really can have and who you really could be in that full energy. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's get into this clarifying Six of Cups for my Leos. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy, soulmate. What's below that? We have the King of Swords and we have the Eight of Eight of Wands. Yeah, I think now the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords is, is I, the King of Swords identifies one, the past issues. Well, let's just say the Knight of Swords can get clear on what you need to do. The King of Swords not only identifies the past issues, but it finds the solutions. And the Eight of Wands is you pulling all your fractured pieces from the past, putting it together. And now you are shooting forward with every, every piece of energy 
that people have taken from you. I hope I'm making sense. I didn't lose you. So I think all this energy is going to be needed to where you're going because this feels like be, when you have a queen of wands and a queen of pentacles, this is high success. This is, you are going into the beginning with a full stage to a lot of success and a lot of money. It could be love, but I'll be honest, Leo, I feel like this is a new error for you. Love will happen but I really feel like the passion you might be craving is something that needs to come from you. It's a purposeful life. It's, it's making a lot of money and stability. Then you are going to have choices. You will have people upright offering you their cup, but it's not something you're going to need. It would only enhance your life. It's not going to be your life. You are fulfilling your own needs these days. You, do you guys catch my drift? Okay. What is this eight of wands reverse and the seven of cups for Leo? What is the Eight of Wands reverse and the Seven of Cups for Leo? Eight of Wands reverse and the Seven of Cups for Leo. What is this? Eight of Wands reverse and the Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands reverse and the Seven of Cups for my Leos. What is this? Sagittarius and Scorpio energy. And you know, the Sagittarius is Knight of Wands. It's passion. Knight of Wands is passionate. It's the passion within you. It's 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 when he's upright. Because I'm so I I the reason why I'm seeing the Knight of Wands is because the Eight of Wands re is reverse, and it's Sagittarius. But I'm really feeling Knight of Wands. I feel like this person had you in neutral. They knew you were a powerful beast. You were a powerful card, but they gaslit you to keep you in neutral so nobody else can take you. And you realized what, what they're doing. They didn't really want you, but they didn't want anybody else to have you. So you, when they weren't looking, put yourself in drive and got the hell out of there. And this person's pissed about it. This doesn't feel like, this feels very icky. The sun reverse and the king of wands reverse. He, this is a huge ass pity party going on over here. What is the Eight of Wands reverse and the Seven of Cups? Main energy. Eight of Wands reverse and the Seven of Cups. And the Eight of Wands upright. You block them and got, it's, it's wands, right? I'm sorry, this is Visconti Tarot and it's Italian. Yeah, it's wands. It looks like swords. Does it not look like swords? It looks like swords to me. But it's Eight of Wands upright. You block them and got the hell out of there. I felt that. I, didn't, I don't even need these cards. I'm feeling this energy. What is the world reverse, the reason for the reading? 2021 that's what i got it is 21 i feel like you were stuck on them in 2022 they are stuck on you yeah that could be the title of your reading okay what is this world reverse the reason for the reading it is the eight of swords reverse <laughs> it's funny it is a transfer of energy that's all relationships are. But the, what you're doing is transferring the stress they put you in and gave it to them. So you were in an Eight of Swords dealing with them. So you blocked them and got out of it. And now you put them in an Eight of Swords because you're out of it. It's, it's, it's as if somebody's got to take the, the stress spot or something. And I felt like that. I feel like as you're moving off this table, they're now going back just like this. You took a look and saw what kept you back from nurturing and, and expanding your life. And now this person went from knowing everything to now being stuck of infancy of where this began and how it went so sideways without taking personal responsibility, I might add. What is the Eight of Cups in the past? Pisces energy. What is the Eight of Cups in the past? I mean, this person's actually lucky you didn't burn their house down like in a Denzel movie. You just threw their cup away, okay? They should be happy. What is this Eight of Cups in the past? What is the eight of cups in the past? What is that? It is, yeah, four cups reverse. They had you feeling they were the only cup you needed. But what you did is got up and you said, I don't. It's so funny. I said that. That's true. The four cups upright is somebody sitting there dreaming of the one cup when they had other options. I feel like you did have other options. So you are no longer sitting there dreaming of a cup you couldn't have. You are realizing the cup was empty and you're getting rid of the cup and the idea of ever having this cup because it's a diseased, toxic, poisonous cup. That's why you're getting rid of it, okay? Now this person is just like, oh, I shit. I think Leo's the one that got away. But they don't want to admit it. Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Cups reverse. There's no regret here. You, you might regret how much time you lost, but you, I don't think you're going to regret this person of not having them because now we are in magician and ooh, two Virgos. Maybe you are in a Virgo. 
Hmm. Leo, do tell. We are amongst friends. But Magician and Knight of Pentacles, you are in this energy. Some of you, if this is about starting a business, I, what I'm feeling is by Virgo season, Leo, which is at the right after you, you know, August, September. This is my where you really start seeing some groundwork and, and money really coming in if you start it now. Just want to say that for somebody out there. But I feel like you're dumping out this cup and you're just like, you're only taking your cup. It's, it's ace of cups or nothing from now on. Okay, where was that? Where was that? I'll just put that there because I can't remember what I clarified, but it's important. Four cups reverse, ace of pentacles reverse. I think it was in the past. All right, queen of wands. And you know what's funny as I put it there? The queen of wands looks like she's looking at it. This is a situation you'll never forget. It'll always be in your mind, but it, but it needs to be in your mind so it's never in your heart again. It's funny, I did put it right by where she's thinking. What is the Queen of Wands on Leo's mind? Aries energy. Could, you could already have new love, but I really feel like this is you, Leo. This is, this is just a new era for you. What is this Queen of Wands, Aries energy on Leo's mind? It is, yeah, the Three of Swords. What did I say? You will never forget what this person or people have done to you. But I don't think you're really living in the pain. You're not having a hard time moving on from it. But sometimes it's good to remember it just so it doesn't happen again. And I really feel like this is you getting your confidence back. And I feel like what they did to you and how they held you back has pissed you off enough to propel you out of it to get those swords out. But also, Leo, hold on a second. Hold the phone. Because remember what I said about a line? This is this person's direct line to you. So for many of you, you are looking good. I don't honestly feel new love, but that's okay. It's a new you, that's more important. I feel like you're looking good, you're attractive, you might be going out, this person might be seeing you, and now they're feeling the Three of Swords that they once put you in. Okay, what is this Queen of Wands and Three of Swords? And the Lovers Reverse, a soulmate lost forever. And they're in the three of swords it's not you i don't think it's you if it's you leo that means you did something wrong take some responsibility for it and do better okay that's all we can do we can't change the past but we can change who we are so we have a better future but for the most part i feel like this was done to you what is the king of wands reverse in the near future what is the king of wands reverse in the near future seven of wands somebody <laughs> This person doesn't let people in. It's your energy, but they they never let you in. That's your energy. King of Wands reverse, and I know that's your card, but unless you're dealing with a Leo or you did this, but some of they are pissed that you lost the passion for them, that you're not letting them in, that you block them that they're now in this black and white existence and you're in color. I think when they dealt with you, they were in color and you were you were on the other side of the fence. You were wanting that cup. You were wanting their time. You were wanting their attention. Now you block them. You're not given to them. And now your defenses are up. And they are over here saying, what the hell? The sun reversed. Leo, Leo, and Leo. See, how tarot works is, this is a Leo reading, and a lot of Leos watch it, but there are other signs that watch it and say, hey, Stacy, you are wrong. This Leo did it to me. Well, it's not that I'm wrong. It's that the energy is, this is, that's why I say this is in the very beginning, this is for a Leo, people who want to be a Leo, it's for cross watchers. So it's very hard to cross watch in a reading because you're not really on the other side. You're actually this main story because a Leo did this to you. You see how that works? So this is, and this is where it gets really interesting is on the, on the main deck, I feel like it was them, even though it's your card, Leo, but I feel like it's what this person did to a Leo. That's why we have all this Leo energy of a Leo not letting this player in. And this Leo is just saying, you know what? You can be as unhappy as you want. You lost me for good. But I, I feel like you were completely blocked this person. I don't think you're even talking to them. What is the two of pentacles reverse Capricorn energy? How you see yourself. It's like we almost literally went to the cross watcher side. Because this is this person in a pity party. They're just like, well, I was juggling Leo so fine. And somehow they tripped me and I fell and I lost it. Well, they lost control of the situation. Well, they shouldn't have had a situation. It should have been a relationship. What is the Two of Pentacles reverse? How Leo sees himself? 
Yeah, the empress. Nobody juggles an empress. And an empress doesn't chase, an empress doesn't want, it doesn't, an empress pulls people to her. An empress is high vibrational. An empress deserves an emperor. You don't deserve whatever the hell this person is. I feel like they are a king of wands reverse. Yes, it's a Leo card, but I feel like they came in as a king of cups or an emperor. And what you were dealing with was a, a little, a child, somebody who lacks a lot of confidence and self-esteem, somebody who needs their ego fed because they, they have, a lot of people who have a deflate or inflated sense of ego inside, they're really deflated. So they have to try to get themselves full and built up from other people. But you're an empress. You see it clearly. You say, I am not chasing. It's in this card. Usually in the traditional, she's sitting on her heart. She, she, she is protective of her heart because whoever wins her heart is really going to deserve it. But empresses also are about expansion yes it's mother earth and it's nurturing and i feel like you're in this time but you're nurturing yourself in a you are satisfying yourself these days your needs your 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 status you're healing this imbalance that was your life and you're walking you're going into this black and white existence into color into a balanced state into expanding your life which i feel like what this is I feel like a lot of Leos are going into a lot of success. And that's what you are birthing new ideas. You're birthing a new you. Some of you are giving birth because that's also the Empress. This is Libra Taurus energy. But, but for the most part, I think you're just expanding your idea of what happiness is. You're, you're expanding your world here. What is the sun reverse, the influencing energy? Which I feel like is a guilt trip, but okay. What is the sun reverse? What is it? It is, yeah, the Ten of Swords Reverse. Somebody can't let you go. This is a guilt trip. Sun Reverse and Ten of Swords Reverse. How dare you put me now? How dare you make me eat the crow that I try to feed you? You know? I, I <laughs> You know what I get with this person? I feel like they're sending you a lot of shitty ass texts, but you block them and they have no idea. And then they're even more pissed that you're not even answering them back. I just feel a lot of anger going on here. What is the Queen of Pentacles in your emotions? What is the Queen of Pentacles? You're over here. This person sent in you shitty texts and you're over here trying to figure out, you're trying to make this grow. You're like not even in the same world as them anymore. You're in another dimension. You're focused on your future, on a new beginning, and how do I turn this into a Ten of Pentacles? And you have no idea this person's like doing what they're doing. It's kind of, I'm sorry, it's kind of funny. What is the Queen of Pentacles Capricorn energy in your emotions? What is the Queen of Pentacles in your emotions? Yep, Eight of Cups, upright. It's funny, back here we have the Eight of Cups upright in the past. So what you did was walk away from a black and white existence and got rid of this cup. Remember I said you're only now, what, you, what cup you're picking up is your own? That's now we're in a color existence. You walked away. It, it's it's the past and the future are combining. And in the middle, we have this, this sad situation. That was the situation ship. And what you realize is the grass was not greener on this side. It was weeds. And some of you went back and watered your own lawn. And that's the unknown. See, the Eight of Cups is they're walking away from cups, but they're also walking towards... They're walking towards, because it's Pisces energy, they're walking towards the moon, which is the unknown, which is Pisces energy. So this is, you're walking away from this, this empty abandoned house that was the shell of this person. And what you walk towards is the unknown, which is Pisces. This is full, this is, the, but I feel like these are your cups. They were always here. This person was siphoning them. They were drinking from them. And you're just, you're being very protective of how we turn this Eight of Cups and get it to a Ten of Cups and stay there. How we turn, take this Ace of Pentacles and get it to a Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're very, very focused. Like she's very focused looking at that. I feel like you're very focused on your personal happiness, your needs, your future. And you are not even thinking of this person or you won't be really soon. And the outcome, what, what is this? We have the Fool, we have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Awakening. I love that. So here she's taking this Ace of Pentacles and look what it grows into. It's a tree of knowledge, Ace of Pentacles. It's, it's, you're, you're trying to grow Ten of Pentacles. What you've got is multiples of that. It's, it's amazing. So yeah, this is, and I feel like that where you might be a little pissed about wasting your time is 
nobody wastes their time when you're learning a lesson. At the same time, you're pissed about what this person did, which is why she's looking at this Three of Swords. Okay, let's go back to this. What is the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Awakening, the Outcome? What is the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Awakening, and the Outcome? Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. All new beginnings, and it is January 2nd, and it is the Eight of Pentacles. You don't know how you're going to get there, but you're getting there. Eight of Pentacles is every day applying the same pressure. You keep doing that, Pis or Pisces. You keep doing that, Leo. And you will not just have, like I said, the Ten of Pentacles. But it's going to be abundance beyond your dreams, okay? Eight of Pentacles means no little amount of effort is too small. Because it's the small changes that, it's the small efforts that make the biggest changes. People think, let's just, let's take dieting, okay? People think, I need, you go from eating Cheetos and watching Netflix to I need to cut everything out of my life, including air. No, it's the smallest changes in our life that makes the biggest, the biggest difference, okay? So it's not about cutting everything out, it's just every day, keep doing the same thing. It's the habits. It's creating new habits. What you're doing is creating a new habit towards your happiness and towards your goals. And as you keep your head down and you're working and working in this eight of pentacles, you're turning this dream into a reality and your reality is turning into abundance. And now the, the, the original desire is to heal yourself from this player. Your original desire is to, to go from being broke and a joke to, you know, broke as a joke to abundant. It's not even like, that's not even your desire anymore. Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles, you're bringing in that money. You have that happiness. But now because you love what you do, you just keep doing it. So the love is secondary. The money is secondary. But you keep doing it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. And how I see the Two of Pentacles is your second hand. You, your second hand was broken. How you see yourself is broken. Maybe. I, I mean, I really feel like that. It sounds harsh, but it's, it's situations in life has you thinking happiness can only come in one form or one box. Money can only come in one form or one box. Leo, you needed to go to college and do 10 years of school to ever think about being wealthy. You needed to go, you couldn't be a billionaire, Leo. I mean, that's that's for billionaires, you know? To, something in your thinking wasn't working. Your second hand stopped working properly. So now we have the Empress. Now you're healing yourself, you're nurturing yourself, and you're expanding your mind and your, your, your dreams of anything is possible. If you believe anything is possible, then it is. It's just that simple. It really is that simple. So how you see yourself is turning this Two of Pentacles into this. So you have Elon Musk. You have these super, super wealthy people. They are always working. Sure, Elon could live live with a harem of people and, and live on an island and never work a day in his life. But he now knows his happiness is in his Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles state. He has to constantly be driving for something. The money is secondary. The the fame is secondary. But your passion is, is primary going to be, that's your focus now. So this situation took you from it felt like it was the last player of the players. It was the last disappointment of the disappointments. It was the end of your beginning, okay? So you're, you're going from this black and white existence, going into Oz and realize, I don't want to go back to Kansas, Dorothy. I want to stay where I have these friends, where I have people that support me and where anything is possible, where I can click my heels and a fairy floats out. Every, anything's possible, Leo, if you believe it. Because I feel like what you're doing, how you see yourself, if you realize it or not, you're healing your second hand and it's never going to stop working. You're never going to stop working. I mean, retirement is for people who actually work jobs. But when you work a passion, that's why you have actors like George Burns, who I love George Burns. He worked up until his death at 100 years old, smoking cigars and drinking martinis every single day. Retirement is for people who work jobs. But you're never going to want to retire from your happiness, you know? This is something you'll have for the rest of your life because your second hand will always work and that's where your legacy will be passed down to multiple, multiple generations. You're the beginning of it for other people to carry it on. All right, my Leos, that is what I have for you. Bottom of the deck, let me just say real quick, is Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Cups reverse. Stop wasting your time and people draining you. It's not a twin flame, it's a waste of time, okay? Find out what this is and get this going because this is where your happiness is. 
five of wands reverse, get out of the drama and the competition so you can get nine of wands. Nine of wands I like, don't give up. Your dreams are coming true. Traditional nine of wands is a person bandaged, holding an ace of wands with eight of wands behind him. You have a lot of eight of wands. You've been protecting your energy, waiting for someone to appreciate the ace of wands you have in your hand. The only person who needs to appreciate it is you. So that's what I feel like is this awakening into your life, which is right here, the awakening. You're waking up to you. You're waking up to your power of, of your purpose. You know, you're waking up to what Leo really needs in their life. It's not a player. It's not even a relationship. It's you. You are the passionate being. Who, when you're in this energy, I feel like options will be endless but you're the one now in power to decide who you wanna be with. But one thing's for sure, nobody's ever gonna juggle you or take this away from you. Your second hand is gonna be infinite. It's always gonna work from now on and she's gonna make sure of it, your inner empress. All right, my Leos, that is what I have for you guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your Sunday. Um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.